Hey, welcome to Dit Dot. My name is Amanda. In this video, I'm making a stuffed bell pepper soup. So as you can see, I'm in my PJs today. And you know, it's just one of those days. It's rainy and I had the energy to either get dressed or film a video. Didn't have the energy for both, but I really do want to show y'all this. So I'm like, you know what? Y'all are my friends. We're all together here on the internet. So we're cooking today in our PJs. So we're making stuffed pepper soup. And one of my biggest tips when you're making a soup from scratch is decide how much soup you want to make and start with that size pot. Because I don't know about you, but my soup always grows to the size of pot that I start with. It just happens that way, I'm not sure. Right now I've just got a small onion that I'm chopping up and I'm gonna get going in this pot. You can hear Watson behind me waiting to see when I will drop something. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn on my pot, put in some oil. This is some olive oil, just enough so that the onion will burn. And I'm gonna just put this onion and then grab some more ingredients out of my refrigerator. I'm totally making this up on the fly, so we'll see how it goes. Got some celery that I'm gonna go ahead and chop. And when I'm working here next to my stove, I like to keep a bowl, which is just my trash bowl, or if you have compost, then you can use it to compost. And I'm just gonna slice up my celery. And I love working right next to my pot and just kind of dump and go. And so basically today my idea is the things that I would put in stuffed bell peppers but just turning it into a soup. It's, like I said, a very rainy, dreary day here in the Pacific Northwest. Just perfect soup weather. This is, I mean, stuffed bell peppers aren't that hard, but this is just that much easier. And so that's what we're going to do today. Bell pepper and then, I mean, so I know I talk about mental health a lot on my Instagram channel. I think it's something that needs to be discussed a lot more often on the internet. I am what you would call a high functioning depression. My depression is hormonal, so it comes and goes throughout the month. And when it hits, it hits really hard. <laughs> but a lot of people would not suspect that I suffer from depression because I am in the category of high functioning. I do have the ability to mostly get things done that I need to get done and go about and live my life. But I also am trying to learn how to balance and on days when I really don't feel good, just say, hey, you know, what can I do today to make life that much easier, right? Like, luckily being a YouTube creator means that I can show up to work in my pajamas. So today I'm doing that and I hope that you don't mind. It's so funny because yesterday I posted a picture. I'll post it right here. My hair is so just, oh my God, I was having the best hair day. And so I took a selfie because, you know, we just really got to celebrate those moments when we're just feeling spectacular about ourselves. Well, today I did throw on some jeans and I ran in to make a return to the PS store. And my hair was just like this in my big messy bun. And the checkout lady at the UPS store, she said, uh, she said, oh my gosh, your hair is so beautiful. And I said, oh my gosh, you don't know how good that, that makes me feel to hear that today. Um, okay, just my luck. My mic just went out, but luckily I noticed it. So to finish up that story, the UPS lady, you know, commented me and said, I told her, I'm so glad that you said that. You don't know how good that makes me feel today. And then I pulled out my wallet and I showed her this picture uh, that I had taken the selfie yesterday when my hair was all done up so nicely. And she was like, wow, your hair is so beautiful. And I said, thank you, thank you. But she even liked it when it was just in my regular mom bun. Anyway, so to catch you up where my mic left, I went ahead and put both of those bell peppers in. And then I just put some squeezed garlic and some salt, some pepper, and then I put in a bay leaf, and then I put garlic powder and onion powder. So even though we have garlic and onion in the soup, 
I think adding the powder helps it disperse into the broth and makes it even more flavorful. So I really want to know, tell me in the comments below, do you have any special stories about bay leaves in your family? Like a lot of families, if you get the bay leaf, then that means that you're lucky that day. Or for some people, it means that you have to clean up the dishes. And I'm just curious if you have a story about the bay leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some mushrooms that I'm gonna just kind of lightly clean with a paper towel and get those in. Basically, I'm mimicking all the things that I would put in stuffed bell peppers, but I'm making it into a soup. So that was all the mushrooms in this package, which was almost empty, and now I've got it all in my pocket here. I apologize again about the microphone. I'm on the hunt for a new one. This one just keeps failing me and we can't have that, but hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Some sound is better than no sound. <laughs> just rough chopped on these mushrooms. If I thought about it, I actually would have grabbed the canned mushrooms from my pantry because again, in a soup, canned mushrooms probably would be just as good. And one, one step to make it just a little bit easier, but that's okay. I want to make sure I use up these fresh ones too because I bought a big package this week. All right, today I'm going to use ground turkey in the soup, but you could also use beef. This week at the grocery store, the ground turkey was a whole lot cheaper than my beef prices. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to do turkey this week. So I'm going to go ahead and break it up. It does not want to break up easy in this log, so I'm going to work at it and then we will be right back. Guys, I'm so glad you're here in the kitchen with me because having just someone to talk to sometimes just makes things that much easier. All right, I'm gonna turn up my heat and keep working this and we'll be back in just a minute. So I'm not gonna lie, that ground turkey was kind of giving me some concern, but now it's smelling really good. It's looking so much better, so we're gonna press on. Okay, so you're gonna work in a can of tomato paste, and then I'm just using leftover rice that I had cooked up from earlier in the week. But if you wanted to just use raw rice, I would put in maybe three fourths of a cup and then have it just cook up in with the broth. So now we're gonna add in a broth. Now this is, my intent is for this to be kind of a thick soup. So I'm just kind of adding enough broth to kind of almost cover the ingredients here. We're gonna stir this down. We might add a little bit more, but I'm not sure. Cause I want it to be nice and thick like this. Mmm, <laughs> look at that, it looks so good. Okay, so we're just gonna let this simmer on low for, I'm gonna add a little bit more broth cause some of this will steam off. So I'm gonna simmer this on low uh, see, I still have some more turkey I need to break up. And let it cook and let those flavors meld together and we'll give it a taste. Okay, here it is. It's been simmering for a long time. It's really thick. It's more like a stew than a soup. You could add more broth if you want, but this is the texture I wanted. I wanted something just really thick and comforting. Okay, so I'm only going to taste a little bit right now. It's only 3.30. But that's another one of my tips. Um, if you're not feeling very good and you have the opportunity to cook earlier in the day when you know you might have a little more energy than you might as the day goes on, then preparing a meal like this where I'll at dinner time, I'll just have to reheat it, then that is good. But I wanted to show you what I would normally do is put it in a big bowl. If you had some parsley, I think that'd be really good across the top. And then to top it off with a little bit of Parmesan, of course, to match the size of your but isn't that adorable let's give our stuffed bell pepper soup a taste mm. Ooh. forgot to let it cool down mm. okay this tastes just like stuffed bell peppers i kid you not it's just so much easier didn't have to go through pre-baking the bell peppers and then stuffing them and then babysitting them in the oven this took like 10 minutes well, it would have taken maybe 10 or 15 minutes to cook, but I wasn't filming. A couple of minutes to simmer, a dinner tray. Mmm. Oh God, little snack. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Your support just means the world to me. One of the reasons why I started my channel was at 
you know, during the pandemic, when things got really lonely, I just felt like I love to talk and I just wanted people to share and talk and share my story with. So starting a YouTube channel and I think people come together around food. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. I really love answering all of y'all who talk to me in the comment section. Hi, editing Amanda here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I have one more quick point that I wanted to make. I just want to make sure that if you are also suffering from depression, please do not compare what your depression looks like to what my depression looks like. Everybody who is suffering from depression has a unique experience. Um, you need to just be talking with your doctor and trying to navigate your own experience. For you, if it means getting a piece of toast, a can of instant soup, and just drinking water, and that's how you fuel your body that day, that's amazing, that's great. For me, I just wanted to cook a really simple dinner and I was able to do that. It's not a comparative thing. Don't take one person's experience and minimize it, or also don't take someone's experience and say, oh my gosh, I, you know, I don't look that good. It's not a comparative thing, okay? So just take that. And if you do feel like you are suffering from depression and you are not getting help, please reach out. Starting medication really, really made a world of difference for me. Anyway, I love you all. And until the next one.